Morning, guys. Five o'clock here in Omaha, Nebraska. Haven't recorded a training session in a while, so we're going to get to it. Um, our last training session I did was a push session, so we're going to do another push session. Um, that was done pre-COVID. Put that up a while ago. Focusing on podcasts lately. Um, my partner who does the podcast with me is an NYPD cop. Uh, he's been super super busy so i haven't been able to record a uh podcast session but we will we'll get back to it because we got a lot to talk about a lot to talk about and a lot to unpack um but in the meantime um you know summer's coming up and while a lot of us can't get to the beach or uh a lot of us don't have a beach uh you still kind of want to go on a recomp program just to get some insulin sensitivity back look good fit in your clothes a little bit better so uh post ramadan that's kind of what my focus is uh, i have a friend by the name of nick langer who is doing the ifbb north americans uh soon i think uh first weekend of september right about labor day and uh i just said you know i'll just die with you and my diet won't be astringent um at least not right now um i still have a lot of wiggle room if you know what i mean so we're gonna get in and we're gonna just work really hard burn a lot of calories and try to get a another half hour of cardio in so we'll go through today's push session um i'll tell you why you need to keep your weights heavy during your dieting phase i'll tell you why your uh overall weight volume your overall volume should slowly increment up but you you shouldn't have it as high and also we'll get into the role of cardio and then we'll just touch on some other issues all right let's go all right let's talk fat loss a little bit um you want to keep things generally the same um when we're going when you're going into a fat loss phase it's more diet manipulation adding in a little bit more activity to help burn calories in addition to um, upping the intensity of your workouts not saying that you should go insanely crazy intense with uh, your fat loss because you should be doing that in the off season or if you're just uh, looking to put on a little bit of size you should be doing that because muscle growth takes that but you definitely want to increase the intensity just a smidge um, to try and get some and I know a lot of people don't like to say this, a little bit greater detail in the muscle. So uh, it's always good to just bump the reps up slightly, bump the volume up slightly. But right now, since it's so early in the game, I'm keeping everything the same, everything the same. Um, watching my stress level, um, that's something that's very important for fat loss as well. Making sure that your body is in a good amount uh, is able to handle a good amount of stress because body composition does body recomp does require uh, you to be tolerating a good amount of stress so um, definitely pull back a little bit on watching all of the uh, all, all of the news coverage on George Floyd the protests nationwide which I did participate in a protest here in Omaha me and a wife um, standing up for what we believe in and uh, protection of uh black lives so um me and vaughn are going to touch on this in a podcast but uh just want to make my stance be known early on um so back to training um when you're also in a fat loss phase you have to remember you got to do what got you there now keep in mind not getting ready for a show or anything like that but also understand that you, I do want to keep that muscle, and if you're watching this video and are going to compete, hopefully you want to keep your muscle too. So you want to keep the things in that kept you thick, strong, and powerful in the off season. Um, your poundages are going to drop. That's just the fact of the matter. If you are very heavy, your leverages are going to change, and strength is going to dip off in some exercises. All right, you're going to have to push. So even with me trying to lose some body fat i am absolutely going to keep pushing for prs um 
a lot of you all know that I'm a shitty presser. So when it comes to pressing, it's not a strong suit, but I'm still trying to PR on my lifts. So my main lifts, at least for this, for the first six to eight weeks, however long I'll make this blast, will be the incline press, the hammer strength wide press, and the machine fly. So the machine fly, I'm really not worried about PRing on. I'll probably just push that more for volume and whatnot. But the incline press, I'm still trying to get stronger at. The hammer wide press, definitely trying to get um, strong at. Also, I'll be adding in the hammer decline for the simple fact that if I go to another, if I go to Iron Heaven, they have the hammer decline. So it's good for me to be able to do a variation of that. And the wide press and the hammer decline press aren't too far off as far as uh, mechanics so that's going to be um that's going to be an interesting challenge so this first week is the week one of the training program um it's just me needing to see if my methods work right so i'm just really trying to really pare it down and also like i said i'm dieting kind of alongside nick as he gets ready for the north american so if anything, I have it in my mind and I'm getting ready for a show. So, uh, exercise selection. Don't go crazy with it. Like I said, keep most of everything the same. Just do your diet manipulations and don't do everything all at once. You don't want to throw your body into a tizzy when you're trying to recomp or you're trying to cut down or anything like that. Slow and steady, all right, but with a sense of urgency. Um, if you've done a show, you kind of know what that means as you're just consistently on a clock trying to get those body fat levels down. So remember, slow and steady will win the race, but you have to execute it with intensity. All right. All right, chest is done at this point. It is 6.13 a.m. And I definitely don't have time for 30 minutes of cardio because I still have shoulders and triceps to do, but that won't take too long. Uh, the thing you need to remember when you're doing a push session, at least in my estimation, if you make it chest emphasis or shoulder emphasis, your chest or your shoulders, the one that's not being emphasized that day needs to be super set it, giant set it, tri set it, whatever, to get a maximum amount of blood in the muscle. Um, and then the next go round, you prioritize that body part in the workout. And then like, for example, chest was a priority this week, shoulders will be next week. So chest gets straight sets, rest, pause, all that. Shoulders gets giant sets or supersets. Next week, shoulders is a priority and then chest gets all that uh, giant set juiciness. So we're gonna move on to shoulders, we're gonna giant set some stuff, and then uh, we're gonna kick it into triceps and call it a day. Let's get going. A quick note on intensifiers during a, during a thought loss phase. Uh, I'm for it. I think it's a great way to burn extra calories without burning them cardio. The thing about it is, is that too many intensifiers burn yourself out it would definitely lead to which I don't I don't care about it so you have to definitely but on that a lot of people don't push themselves as much as they think they should in terms of the training or as much as they think they should themselves so please keep in mind that if you're going to do drop sets super sets giant sets Make sure you're taking an intensifier away from another part of the workout. Like here, I did um, four sequences of super sets between two exercises. So I did drop sets or super sets or as balls for each other. Could I have? But I don't think it would have been too smart. It would have definitely taken away from my recovery. So I want to make sure that you just keep moving. Intensifiers in check and not really exceed. Um, so, moving on. 
triceps, not the sides. I got some press guys. Um, I like my co host more. That's it. Uh, workout took a little longer than I would have liked, but it is what it is. So a couple of key points uh, to keep in mind. So if you're trying to drop fat, don't change up your training. Don't switch it to high rep. Uh, add Maybe add in a couple of high rep sets, but that's already on top of your heavy uh, movements. High reps for toning don't really. It's, it's a dumb concept is antiquated it's been proven it doesn't work uh, what else uh try to get your cardio in um today i did not have that luxury of time uh however uh, i will shoot for it tomorrow seeing that tomorrow is my leg pump day and the volume isn't uh super high and then on top of that uh it's also a hamstring focus day and not so much quad. So try to get your cardio in, do what you can. Um, also, uh, nutrition is key in any type of fat loss. And I'm a person that likes to eat really, really good food, basically restaurant food, but I know that's not good for body transformation. So uh, as I'm paring down, um, you know, eating at home much, much more, uh, especially with grocery prices the way they are. I'd rather take that money that I would spend at like uh, a Buffalo Wild Wings or something like that and just eat in. Um, so meal prep and taking my meals with me is going to be paramount. It's going to be a little difficult in my household, but it is what it is. Um, you have to guard your health in today's day and age and diet is the most efficient way of doing that. So you can't keep bogging yourself down with bullshit. And I, I bogged myself down with a lot of bullshit. Some Oreos, some Doritos. Um, my metabolism isn't as fast as it used to be, um, but you can't keep eating shit and expect to get away with it. So that's a couple of key points. Oh, also always emphasize recovery. Um, if you looked at the news, you engage in political arguments on Facebook, that adds to your stress. Stress depletes your recovery. So please, 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 please keep recovery in mind uh, as you go through any type of body transformation phase. Keep stress in mind and uh, keep going, man. So head at home, uh, do some grocery shopping tonight, and uh, hopefully I'll show you guys what I'm eating. Uh, but that'll be in another video. So until then, y'all take care of each other. Uh, be safe, um, you know, guard your mental, guard your chicken, like my man uh, Marshawn Lynch always says. Uh, continue to educate yourselves, and as always, Black Lives Matter.